we've heard before is you've talked about your confidence level about this car actually going to production. Oh, yeah. End of 2010. You said in the past around 90%, perhaps a little better. Now that more engineering has undergone, you have batteries that are tested. Do you, uh, would you change that number? Oh, I'll raise it to about, I'll raise it to about 94 and a half at this point. That's great. We still don't know what we don't know. With every passing week, uh, we have a, every two weeks we have a so-called eFlex leadership meeting, uh, which I, I think I'm the chairman of it. I'm not sure, but it, uh, I'm absolutely sure that I'm at every meeting because I want to be, uh, I want to know personally where the problems are. And we, John Locker and, have, and I, have promised Frank and the team, don't wait for problems to accumulate. Don't hide problems. Don't be scared to tell us about them. Any, any bad news that comes up, we want to know it right away, and we will help with resources where necessary uh, and make make decisions, even if they cost money, we'll make decisions to get the program moving ahead. And right now, we still have a lot to do, I guess, with electronic control strategy, power electronics, charging systems, uh, interaction of brake IC engine, uh, electric drivetrain. So there's a lot of work left to be done, but of the cells into the battery pack and uh, getting a, a, a totally reliable battery pack that withstands vibration and cools properly. But these are all engineering subjects uh, that we can solve. And, and I'm interested to know how the Volt um, is going to change the institution of General Motors so that, that uh, innovation of this kind can continue to emanate from the corporation in the future, particularly after certain senior members of the executive team, uh, they leave the company. <laughs> I, I would say, you know, uh, four or five years ago, that might have been a legitimate question, but um, I, I think I can honestly say now, with the, with the leadership we have in place now, uh, under Rick Wagner and with Fritz Henderson as president, side of General Motors having been re-legitimatized after maybe 20 years of running the business by the numbers and always playing it safe. I think the, the whole company has now learned the lesson that when you step out and do bold things, you win. And when you're cautious and let somebody exactly. else do the bold things, you lose. So, uh, exactly uh, right. Exactly right. Exactly right. That lesson is deeply embedded in the in the organization now, and it's it's not just advanced technology; it's everything we do. It's why the Chevy Malibu is such a hit because we weren't content to do just another mid-sized car. We had the ambition of doing the best, best looking, best, best driving, uh, the best quality, the best interior, most silent, etc., etc. Set our goals high and try to beat everybody in the world. We did the same thing with the Cadillac CPS in this category. And everywhere we've done that, it's worked. So I don't think there's any risk of the company slipping back into the mad old ways. And I think we've got enough, enough of the team now that has seen that it works. When you try to be the best and you actually come out with the best, it works in the marketplace. I think if senior management ever tried to go back to the old ways, it would be armed insurrection. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to yourself and Lyle. The fact that GM is even willing to let me ask you a question directly is just a total testament to how serious you are about getting this program off the ground. Uh, it was widely reported in the beginning that Toyota took a loss on almost every single vehicle, I think some people said for the first two or three years. I'm wondering if GM is willing to take that direction in their their thought process of pricing the vehicle, or is this something that needs to be profitable from day one? Uh, we basically have the technology in the company to come out with a hybrid at the same time as we did before. Maybe, I mean, if you look back through the old uh, parade of progress reports back in London, CEOs 